According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. But according to the laws of the internet, the 2007 film Bee Movie was made to be memed. From copypastas to YouTube edits, Bee Movie memes used to be everywhere online. But outside of the memes, Bee Movie has also inspired great thought among film reviewers online, sharing deep analysis of the film, such as Turns from communist propaganda to critique of capitalism, to critique of apartheid and national socialism, to chauvinist propaganda, to capitalist propaganda, inappropriate for children, and really bizarre. It has also left some reviewers condemning. Does Jerry Seinfeld deserve more prison time for this than dating a 17-year-old? It's possible. And others simply saying, Winnie the Pooh gets sniped in this. These are B-Movie Movie Reviews. The first time we see Barry in this movie is when he's murdering a child, and that made my day. I can't tell if my rating is ironic or if Gen Z humor is so corrupt that Seinfeld dating Roxy Hart and making Kronk jealous, then proceeding to sue the human race, is considered entertainment to us. I wonder if bees know about this movie and consider it a bad representation of their species. The bee clothes look exactly like naked bees. What the fuck is the point then? Barry, who are you wearing? Uh, my sweater's Ralph Lauren and I have no pants. How does an unemployed bee afford Ralph Lauren? All the male bees have buzz cuts, and all the female bees have beehives. Mantenga sus manos y antenas adentro del carril en todo momento. Why does the ride announcer speak Spanish when none of the bees are shown speaking a language other than English? Why do the bees speak English? How do the bees speak English? It's a really, really good thing that the most quoted line from this movie is, You like jazz? And not, How about a suicide pact? If I had to compare Sebastian from La La Land to another fictional character, it'd be Barry B. Benson. You like jazz, 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 you like jazz. When I was younger, I wanted to grow up to be a pollen jock, and I think about that every day. Turns out bees look hot in leather. Furries live among us. They participate in society and make movies. Beastiality. I want to be. The moment where Vanessa and Barry are on the rooftop, and Barry reaches out to touch Vanessa's finger, is literally more moving than Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam. This movie came out 17 years ago. 17 years, you guys. Barry and Vanessa probably have be human children by now, goddammit. All this happened because Barry touched grass. I know Ken is supposed to be the antagonist, but if a bee stole my girlfriend, I'd be pissed too. If you're ever having a bad day, or if you just feel shitty in general, always remember, Ken got cucked by a f***ing bee. Are there other bugs in your life? No. Do not call your significant other honey unless you are a bee. You are appropriating bee culture. This cannot be accepted. Bees, but make them existential. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to these smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? Congratulations, Jerry Seinfeld. You did it. You stopped racism. 10 out of 10, best movie ever made. This movie inspired young seven-year-old me to follow my dreams and pursue interracial relationships. So I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Jerry Springer, and whoever else was involved in the making of this gem, from the bottom of my heart. This kids movie will not be something kids like. Kids don't like bees or any other bugs. Maybe ladybirds. Do kids like Jerry Seinfeld? Do kids like Larry King? Do kids like courtroom dramas and interspecies relationships? I just don't understand who the audience for this film is. B-Movie made me laugh out loud a couple of times, probably because I'm stoned, but I don't know, I liked the film. John Goodman as the lawyer was delightful, and everything about the film was just 
weird and pointless. Isn't honey just bee vomit? And if the bees and humans can have relationships, then can they have kids? If so, then are they babies with bee heads or bees with baby heads? Vanessa is the best character in this movie. I mean, she assaults a girl dressed as a princess to steal a float for flowers, and then almost purposely crashes into a guy while landing a plane. If you don't agree with me, you're just wrong. I hate Vanessa so f***ing much, I don't know how to fly a plane, then pouts and crosses her arms. I wish she f***ing died in that yellow plane she crashed. Are you telling me not a single person on that plane questioned a single thing about that flight? Also, cows, bees, and grasshoppers can speak in this. Why not the bear they brought in to use at court? What's the determining factor? Is this another Stuart Little situation where the mouse and small bird can talk, but not the cats or the falcon for no clear reason? What other animals can speak? Where does it end? This movie is literally about enslaved, exploited workers taking a stand against their unjust capitalist overlords, which leads to the whole world going to shit. So the workers learn their lesson and go back to obeying their overlords, and everybody lives happily ever after. What the fuck, Jerry? The moment Sting shows up is when my brain started leaking out of my ears. I hate that I used to love this movie as a kid, and now I have to live with the fact that I have this whole movie ingrained in my head. I can watch it by just closing my eyes and imagining. You know what? They say God gives his most awkward interests to his sexiest soldiers. How could I change that? This is the kind of movie where every time a character says be or maybe or anything along those lines, it sounds like a pun, even if it wasn't written that way. Patrick Warburton plays the only normal character? Why is Yogurt Night so difficult? This movie is so bad because they didn't make the Ken movie right after. How could this be so weird? I mean, it's flat out bizarre. I mean, there's bestiality and Ray Liotta owning a honey product and Sting Bean in this movie. I don't get the hate on Bee Movie. I mean, I know it's Bee Movie. But I mean, it's B-movie. It's utterly insane, and I love it. I think my laugh box broke, because at one point I just started laughing and couldn't stop. This film is so weird and bizarre that I adore it and find it a laugh riot. I mean, it can't be more hilarious. You guys have to watch B-movie. You have to become B-movie to live, because B-movie is the key to life. I'll hail the B. I'll hail the B. What the fuck? I thought this was a Transformers movie, what the fuck? All worker bees are female, so this is actually a lesbian romance between a butch bee and a femme florist. Why? Just... just why? Why did Jerry Seinfeld feel it was necessary to make a 90 minute long bee joke with a romance between a woman and a bee, with a f***ing courtroom drama halfway through it, and end of the world stakes at the end? Now this deserves a live action remake. Save the bees, you dumbass people. Jerry Seinfeld jokingly apologizes for quote-unquote uncomfortable romantic undertones of Bee Movie. The comedian spoke about the 2007 animated feature, widely memed since its release, and the quote-unquote subtle sexual nature of the relationship between Barry B. Benson and human florist Vanessa Bloom. Coward. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse, Kuski55, Fallen Vexen, Sam, Donka42, I Am a Noodle, John Huang, Fantastic Wreck, Laser Scorpio, and Night Avenger. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are doing well. Wish you all the best. Go enjoy a spoonful of honey if that's something you like. And the same goes to my YouTube channel members, my mini ruse, AD, Taylor Thompson, Foxstar Killer. Logan, and Dibella. Thank you so much for your extra support. I'm so glad to have you be part of my channel. I hope you guys are doing well, and that you'll see some beautiful, bright flowers in your life soon. And of course, thank you to everyone else who watched, and thank you to the people who suggested that I do a video of the movie and movie reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Be happy. Buzz buzz.